Welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we'll deal with output impedance for voltage series negative feedback amplifiers. Let's begin. So, as we have derived earlier, input impedance with feedback and uh, it is uh, written here and uh, we'll dis discuss for output impedance. What is the effect of output impedance? So, that is ZOF. And uh, before starting with the derivation, with the mathematical derivation, uh, one thing has to be made clear that is whenever we will dis discuss output impedance, two assumptions has to be made. One as a first assumption is, first assumption I will write it here, that is consider RL tending to infinity. That is remove anything, whatever be it, because RL is subjected to change. So remove that because it will change the value, ultimate value of the output impedance. So RL should be made infinity. Another thing is, second thing is, Vs is, should be equal to 0. That will help to reduce the complexity. That will ease out things. These are the two um, substitutions or uh, conditions we have, we will always take whenever we are considering output impedance, whether it will, it will be a voltage series or voltage shunt or current series or current shunt, it doesn't matter. These are the two conditions we should always take. Okay, we'll start with the derivation. Uh, first of all, we'll apply it, that is RL is made infinity, so this is infinity and uh, Vs is made zero, so I'll short circuit this part that is this part is zero and uh, thus this is the diagram we are looking for and what is uh, ZOF so ZOF can be written as like this and this is I naught and uh, I'll write ZOF here this is ZOF if I look here so this is ZOF we have to discuss we have to calculate ZOF output impedance. Now as we have um, introduced these uh, two conditions, what are the effects are? It will affect obviously condition number 3 that is Vi is equal to Vs minus Vf. Now it is Vi equal to minus Vf. This is one condition that is condition number 3 had, it has changed and uh, output impedance we have to calculate. This is the only condition that is basically changing. We'll start with the derivation. Now we'll start with the derivation. Look here. So it's a loop. We can start from anywhere. If I'll start from here, I'll write the KVL. So I'll write the KVL. That is, what is this? Is the um, voltage that is V naught. So V naught equal to minus V naught plus I naught Z naught plus A into V I equal to zero. This is the KVL, this is the KVL, output side KVL, output circuit KVL. Uh, so it can be written as V0 equal to I0 Z0 plus AVI. Uh, one thing is uh, I have to mention is ZOF. What is ZOF is, uh, what is the amount of voltage that is V0 and what is the amount of current that is I0. This is ZOF, this should always be kept in mind. So V0 equal to, again back to it. That is, I have written the KVL V0 equal to I0 Z0 plus AVI. That is, V0 equal to I0 Z0 plus uh, VI can be written as minus VF from here. So, A minus VF. So, V0 equal to I0 Z0 minus AVF. VF can be substituted from here. That is, beta into V0. So, I will do it here only. Um, beta into V0. And uh, thus, uh, it can be written here, that is V0 plus A into beta uh, V0 equal to I0 into Z0. So, V0 if taken common is 1 plus A beta is equal to I0 Z0 and uh, similarly, V0 upon I0 equal to Z0 upon 1 plus A beta. So, this is nothing but ZOF as we have already written V0 upon I0. So, ZOF equal to ZO upon 1 plus A beta. So, thus it is been established by mathematical uh, logic that is ZOF is equal to ZO upon 1 plus A beta. That is the output impedance for voltage series 
condition kind of feedback it reduces output impedance reduces that is ZO upon 1 plus A beta. So this will be the seventh part ZO F equal to ZO upon 1 plus A beta. We'll deal with uh, voltage shunt in the next episode. Thank you. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel.